Hello, I am the Ronin Born, and this is Kerbal Space Program. Welcome back to uh, launch clamps that appear in the middle of nowhere for reasons. And also, welcome back to the helicarrier build that won't seem to die. Today, I'm flying planes off of it, which you did last time, but this time I'm doing it in a way that doesn't look like the entire crap, okay? I, you know, the frame rate was really low last time, so I decided to give this a go without commentating the video um, while I was doing it, which means now I'm doing it now, so it's kind of the weird and new experience for me. don't know where I'm going with any of this, but Ruben Kerman is about to pilot the TX-03, submitted by Peter Taylor. Um, little tiny bee-like plane, and we just decouple, re-enable the fuel, fall over, and the engine explodes and we fall off the edge of the helicarrier without any means of propulsion. But that's fine, because it's a plane, and planes glide, and we can just generate lift, um, and speed by driving at the surface of the planet right up until we slam into the hangar. It's trying to pull a, you know, it's going under. Is what I was, I was going under, and yeah, that worked out great. So let's do it again, okay? We just decouple, like so, and then we rush in and re-enable the fuel tanks. Oh good, this time it fell over and didn't explode immediately. That's definitely a improvement over the last time. Yeah, thrust limiter up there, Pawn. And, and, whoever this Kerbal is has successfully taken off of the helicarrier in the TX-03, which we did last time. We just didn't manage to successfully land the helicarrier in the TX-03 because I think I crashed into the edge of the helicarrier a little bit just while I was flying around it in circles and getting beauty shots. And now that we are at a frame rate that doesn't suck, let's talk about some beauty shots. And I accidentally bumped the helicarrier. Oh, crap. Oh, we seem to have lost the tail. You know what I was doing there? Okay, I was just reducing parts count. You know, for lag. We didn't need that tail fin. And you don't, by the way. Uh, Peter Taylor, uh, in modeling the TX-03, uh, you can go ahead and rip that off. Look at how beautiful this is. This is basically okay. Strap in for the rest of, the, you know, the... What have we got? 16 minutes left in this video. <laughs> because really, it's just me going, Oh my god, this is beautiful. I've never seen anything like this in Kerbal Space Program. I mean, I've seen it, you know, other people doing it on YouTube. I've never seen it, well, my hands were on the controls. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, kind of just marveling at the fact that I have a giant helicarrier floating in midair at about 20 meters per second, and I'm flying circles around it in aircraft. Now, the TX-03 is designed to be both, you know, a regular plane and a VTOL. All you have to do is point it straight up and down, enable your air brakes, which is kind of optional, but it helps, and, uh, and just float on your buttocks, which is what I'm trying to do now. Well, it's what Ruben Kerman is trying to do right now, and actually, Ruben looks like he's, uh, he's pretty confident, you know? He looks, uh, he's, he's not giving me bill frowns, is basically what I'm saying. Okay, so he's not Jebediah confident, either, or Val, but he's, uh... He's... he's looking like his... his prospects are not entirely... Oh, he's gone. He's gone. His prospects are not entirely dim, is what I was saying. Okay! This is it! Okay, first pass, first attempt. Let's see if we can do this in one go. Ruben Kerman, um, just get your... even out your throttles so that you're in perfect alignment with the pad. Perfect! Per... no, slow down. Slow down, Ruben. Slow... no, slower. Lower your... Let's give that another try, Ruben. That was, um... Yeah, you, your prospects are looking dimmer as time goes on. So yes, uh, you may notice that the um, engines of the helicarrier are starting to glow a tad. Um, tend to do that when you fly at more than about eight minutes. Uh, no problems, no worries, never had an explosion yet. Um, I mean, never had an explosion from the engines overheating yet. Had many explosions of the helicarrier. Maybe that's why we never really got to the point where the engines overheated, because I tend to run into something with it before that. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure that it's completely safe. Rockamax has approved. Just look at this. I'm telling you, the rest of the video just is beauty shots. It's just like, oh, wow. Like, honestly, I am right now trying to land this in VTOL mode without the assistance of the nav ball or any information about anything just because it looks so good. And I seem to have bumped the edge of the helicopter. Well, we're here, you know, so that's good. Just need to sort of put it up on the edge there and... Oh, wait, no, hang on, just, ah, all right, all right, close enough, that was close. I don't think we can call that a landing, though, Ruben. Um, yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to do a little better than that, and, and he is, look at this, look at this, boom, 
Yes, butt touchdown and fall over on cockpit and fall off the roofing, you suck. You're horrible at this. We need another pilot. Bring me another pilot. Morty? Morty, do we have any other pilots? Well, why aren't you paying them? I'm trying to bring in the income. I'm recording a video right now. Morty. Okay, so uh, coming in for attempt number three or six or 19. I don't know how many of them I edited out, but it was a lot. <laughs> and um, what I've decided is that I need to put down... I mean, right now I'm kind of thinking in my head, ooh, maybe I should sit down right on top of the place that I took off of, but that's not very wise, Ronan Paul, that's not very wise. What I'm thinking is I want it to just, like, lean up against that little structural piece so that when I do turn the engines off and throttle down, it won't just be immediately dragged off of the end of the helicarrier by, um, drag. That's why we call it dragged, I think. Um, so there! Yay! Congratulations, Ronan Paul, and flip out with the mouse cursor! Yeah. <laughs> Speeded up the video a little bit. Hooray! We landed with the TX-03! Peter Taylor, your plane works marvelously, even without a tail fin. But now, it's time for the big show. The big show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we've got a plane here that will be piloted by Mr. Bill Kerman. Now, this is the Stargazer Mark II or three or something. Um, submitted to me by Alpha Epic 11. He made this craft for me back in the 90 o and it was not nearly as pretty, Alpha. I love the new paint job. Um, he put it back together for me in the in the 1.0 because we've got all new aerodynamic system and the other one wasn't working so well so he made this and sent it along to me and that got you on the helicarrier because it's a brilliant design right now we're throttling up and taking off in first person view and now I'm hitting the VTOL engine as well to get a little extra lift and boom we're up and away before we even hit the end of the runway pull your gear in Bill Kerman to give us some cinematic mode for the beauty shots and and look at this. And just look at this. Did I say? I think I've said several times. It's just... <sighs> Never seen anything like this. And it looks so much better in 30 frames per second, too. You've got to realize that um, when I was flying this all together, the reason we're watching this video, and I'm post-commentating it, is because at time of recording, we were going at about... 8. Yeah, 8 frames per second. I'd love to show you what that looked like, but uh, it made... Judgment calls a little bit difficult, so I may have just killed Bill. It's fine, we've got a quick save, so I'll just reload, revert to the quick save where I was already in the air, and, and seem to be missing a helicarrier here, Bill. Uh, Bill, what did you do with the helicarrier? Map mode, hello, helicarrier? No, no helicarrier. The helicarrier decided not to come with me when I quick loaded, and now I'm rather upset, and I've decided to take it out on everyone. Starting with you, Bill. So jump out and face first into the ground. I seems happy. Screw you, Bill Kerman. I'm angry. I'm upset because now I don't have a quick save and I don't have the helicarrier out at the at this other so we've gotta launch another one. So that's what I'm doing here. We're just launching up another helicarrier. If you haven't seen before, this is how you launch the helicarrier. Get it up to about 1,800 kernel nuggets <laughs> of uh, thrust on your rear engines there, and that'll tell you you can destage the launch cramps. Uh, yeah, the launch cramps in case you're menstruating. I am a little bit perturbed at this point, so I may be doing things a little bit quicker because I'm kind of upset. I'm just remembering what it was like back then, back in those the Halcyon days when I was pissed off because we lost our quick save, um, and I'm just sort of barely scraping by everything and <laughs> threatening the lives of many, many Kerbals. But uh, we have managed to put another helicarrier in the air here at the Space Center, and for some reason we're not getting any fuel, any thrust. Um, okay, there's no fuel in the tank because I forgot to detach the tank from when it's attached for some reason, despite the fact that they've got a giant thing full of like 40,000 tons of liquid fuel in the bottom of the ship, uh, the pilot just he keeps flipping the switches and sucking all the fuel out of the aircraft that are attached. So Bill's gonna get out and he's gonna give us a punch, a push right now. So Bill, just get up and give us a push so that we can get the... Okay, there seems to be a short circuit, I think, somewhere, and whenever a Kerbal makes contact with the surface of... Oh, Jesus, look out for the water tower! Yeah, now I'm really pissed. 
Uh, whenever a Kerbal makes contact with the surface of the helicarrier, they get a little bit electrocuted, so that's, we just saw Bill get fried there. But now we've got one working, and I did all the things in the right order, I destaged the field, I did the other thing, then I declamped the clamp, and we can finally take another one off of the helicarrier. Hoorah! Success! Okay. Time for beauty shots, because I just need to cool down. At this point in the video, I just need to sort of settle down. I've just gone through a loss of a quick load and a loss of a, a, th a plane, and then I had to, I've had loaded up like three or four L carriers at this point. And it takes a minute at eight frames per second, so let's just tool around the space center here in the cockpit mode. Um, because it's got, it's just so beautiful in the 1.0 with the new drag and aerodynamic system. It feels so right um, that I, I just can't help. Let's fly under the helicarrier. Let's fly through the smoke cloud of its whatever the thing and thrust. Whee! That was fun. That was fun. So, um, the goal here, incidentally, in case you're getting bored, is we're gonna land on it. We're gonna land on it using this plane. Yeah, that's just more, more beauty shots. So apparently the editor felt that we needed more beauty shots as well. In case you're wondering, yes, I am the, the editor. Okay, finally coming around for our first attempt at, well, it's our second attempt at landing, the first one. Uh, resulted in Bill getting smacked in his face for being happy after I crashed it. So, okay, just need a little more height, a little more height. All right, we're gonna miss, so let's just pull off. And no, apparently we bumped into the TX-03 and rolled over on our side and have exploded. However, okay, the goal was to land Bill Kerbin on the helicarrier. I'm calling that for a success. For a success, Bill, high five? Yeah, Bill Kerbin. Yeah. He never high-fives me. He's been high-fiving me ever since the 1.0 pre-release video. Okay, attempt number, I'm gonna call this attempt number two. These are the official attempts. The first one was, um, happened in a simulator. And, of course, we need more. <laughs> it's lovely, Bond. It's lovely. You're really, you're really... Hitchcock is what you are. Okay, coming in again for another landing attempt. Um, I'm trying to not come in as fast as I did the last time. Right now it's 65 meters per second, which is a little bit fast, so I've just killed our rear engine. No power from the rear engine. However, I've switched to the VTOL engine in order to sort of maintain our height and just drift in. Down to 40 meters per second now. We've got the gear, we've got the clamp out, and by the time I actually get up to the helicarrier, I just lose basically all my speed here in VTOL mode. So we're, um... Yeah, the goal was to land on this in non-VTOL mode, because we did that in the last episode, but, um, I mean, here we are, and we seem to be hovering, so, uh, let's do this instead. All right, we're just gonna line it up now, Bill, just a little bit to the left, and activate that rear engine. Bill Kerman, anytime. There you go. See, I'm, I'm a little bit off. It's, what are we at? Uh, 12.50. Okay. And just catch that, and boom. Nose down. <laughs> it's an interesting way to VTOL landing, but we've tested the, um, the Jet Arrestor system, which incidentally is part of the Boat Parts mod for KSP. Um, so if you like that. Also these um, these uh, docking ports, we'll call them that. The little white thing at the end of the of the, of the the landing strip right there, that's part of Boat Parts as well. Very, very neat way to attach your planes um, to, you know, anything. It's a little bit screwy, honestly. I couldn't get the docking part that goes on the plane to attach to the docking part that goes on the ship. But if you're landing something on something else and you want to attach it, then it's an absolutely brilliant system. I love it for that. Um, not loving it so much for the attachment to the ship. It's fine. It's fine. It works brilliantly. It doesn't need any any help at all. Just like the KSB 1.02 doesn't need any help at all with the floating docking plant. Alright, uh, so I had to put another one up there, another uh, helicarrier for some reason. I don't know. I'm just really upset now. I'm just screaming. No, no. I think by now I've probably gotten drunk. So we're fine. We're good. <laughs> I don't drink as all. I only drink for the live streams, people. I'm not a. I'm not an alcoholic. Really, I'm not. See, I'm not even at, at the first stage of, <laughs> of recognizing my alcohol. First thing is you have to admit it, and I'm not even starting. So uh, yeah, more beauty shots. More more beauty shots. Put the curlers in your hair, Bill, because uh, you know. People came to see you land on the thing, not to look at more beauty shots. Especially with the video having been degraded this much by multiple encoding passes that it took in order to get the video up to a frame rate that didn't suck entirely. Okay, we're coming at the helicarrier, I think. I'm pretty sure it's in there somewhere. Yes, okay, I see it now. 
All right, uh, maybe going a little fast here, 160 meters per second, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Just put her down, Bill. Well, Bill, you coward. Oh, Bill, uh, he made the smart call there. He's just, he was lining it up, you know. We're trying to get the angle this time. We're going to do it right. So now he knows the angle at which to come in at the landing strip. Bill Kerman, line her up and do it right. We're down to 80 meters per second and gaining speed. That's not right, Bill. That is, that's not how you want to land. You want to be losing speed at this point. Oh, so you're just going to kill the engines and go back into VTOL mode? Yeah, because that's what we're here for, Bill Kerman, is to watch you land in VTOL mode. No! We want to watch you land as a plane. Okay, well, you're still moving forward at 50-some meters per second, so I guess it counts as a, as a plane landing if you pull it off. So pull it off, Bill Kerman. We're all cheering for you. Do it. Do it. You can do it. You really didn't. You took the time to line it up, and this is how you're doing? Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Good work, Bill. Oh my god, look at the <laughs> look at the control tower just wobbling off to the side. Okay, we've got a much better attempt now. Um, what do we got? 37 meters per second. This is looking good, Bill. This is looking good. Coming in at 37 meters. You're a little high, Bill. You're a little high. What are you doing? You're a little... You shouldn't have smoked... Okay. You know what, though? You know what? We just lost the nose cone. We don't need that nose cone. Fire up, Bill. Gear in. Gear in. Quickly. Pull up. Pull up, Bill Kerman! Pull up! Pull up! Yay! You saved your own life, Bill Kerman. Um, but I'm still gonna quick load because now the plane is rather ugly. So, yeah. Okay! Um, attempt number 1602. Uh, yeah, so apparently you've gone back into VTOL mode, Bill. Don't know what this is all about. I think I came in really, really low on this one and then. Yeah, I had to do this, and then... Okay, now you've lined it up! Finally, Bill Kerman, you've lined it up exactly the way you need to. Yes, okay, now you know the angle. Oh my god, you've got a good angle. You've got a good angle, Bill Kerman. This is the one! I think this is the one! 57 meters per second? Yeah, uh, hit your brakes, turn your brakes on. You're coming in very good. Now, because the helicarrier is moving forward, we actually have to angle a little bit toward the right edge of the runway, because by the time we catch it, it, you know, it's moving forward, we're moving forward, there's an angle we're coming in at, so Bill, a little bit to the right, and straighten her out, good angle, yeah, can yeah, wait, no, yeah, it works, it works, I mean, we sort of, you know what, that was all for style, okay, Bill Kerman, handbrake turning on the landing, just so that we could get this angle, I mean, I don't think you could do that better, that looks really, really nice. <laughs> Bill Kerman, if honestly right now I was just checking to see if he could plant a flag on the plane because I was so happy after the I don't know how many hours I put into at eight frames per second reloading the helicarrier over and over and over again and then bringing this plane out over and over and over and over, and over again. So it's time for one last pass. It is a VTOL, so let's just prove that it can take off, right? And let's take it around for one more go because we did kind of slide out. We kicked out the rear end in the last attempt, and I think we can do it. You know, now that I've got it, I mean Bill, now that Bill's got it, I think if he, he's got the experience now, he's just got to come in straight at it. So, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, oh my god, this is perfect, you're at like exactly the right height, 37 meters per second, really good speed, you've got your brakes enabled, gear is out, oh my god, this is perfect, Bill, this is perfect, look at that, Per. A little less than perfect, Bill Kerman. I think from now on, if I'm going to be using those hooks with the uh, system that slows everything down, uh, I'm going to want to put that a little bit closer to the center of mass on the craft. However, I didn't, and so Bill Kerman is electrocuted for the second time today. Thank you for your valiant sacrifice, Bill Kerman. We did it! We landed on the helicarrier Mark 17 in all the ways that you're supposed to do that. I am the Ronin Ball! I will see you all next time. Porn out. So Morty, what do you think I did with the whole um, post commentary thing? Uh, I'm insecure a little bit about it. <laughs>